Good evening, Europe. Actually, who am I kidding? There's no evening between when this is uploaded and when the Eurovision, when the Junior Eurovision actually is. So, uh, hello, Europe. In this video, I'm going to be going through all Junior Eurovision entries of 2018 and sort of rank them. But I'll only give my top 10 favorites and then I'll just go through the bottom 10 in random order because I, I can't actually bring myself to say to one of the people's faces that your entry is the worst because th this year is actually really tough to like even like the fact that there are no one star entries for me in this year is actually a testament to how good this year is so uh, Let's just jump right on in with our bottom 10, I guess, but let, let's start out with the champion of Eurovision, that is Ireland. So Ireland sends Taylor Hines with the song I O U, and the first thing that I noticed about this song is like it's, it is a sort of modern EDM kind of track with a sort of feel-good vibe to it. The music video is... is re it really wants to look like it's homemade. I, I don't... I don't quite... quite buy it, but... It, but it has like this casual vibe to it, which is actually quite enjoyable. And then at some point in the music video, you'll see a familiar face. Ryan O'Shaughnessy. Which, I mean... I hope that wasn't just the producer's idea, just just like, hey, let's hit this guy up from Big Eurovision. I, I hope that actually happened, like, naturally, which would be incredible. But also, if that did happen, like, with a producer reaching out to Ryan. Shout out to Ryan to basically wanting to support the sort of, I guess, extended family of Eurovision there. So my first impression with this song was, uh, I don't know, it might have been a little bit repetitive to me and I don't know but ba but based on the comments th this is a song that sort of grows on people like like I I saw four different comments just like first view don't like it mm. S third view not too bad F seventh view I love this so, so I guess based on those comments I guess it deserves my wine award which as you know gets better with age. But also based on the comments there were some people confused on how to how to pronounce the the name. I'm I'm going with Taylor because it's spelled Taylor and not Tyler, so there you go comment section. So let's continue with next year's host of the big Eurovision Israel. And First off, I in, I enjoy the song. It has it has some good ethnic vibes. He he has some he has actually he does actually have pretty good voice control. The song is called Children Likes These and it's sung by Noam. Now this is one of these songs where it's like 50% home country based and 50% international based like the music and it's actually quite an enjoyable song the reason it's like not in my top 10 is just because this is a strong year and this is also one of these songs where I feel like English lyrics can't improve the song like like English lyrics would would destroy the authenticity of of this song so 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 basically here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to I'm going to give it the English cannot improve this award. <laughs> Let's continue. So for the next song LEVON by Levon, I'm going to pull I'm going to first pull up a YouTube comment section trivia fact. So this person commented Junior Eurovision 2010 was held in Minsk. 
Armenia was represented by a boy from Artsakh. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Armenia's song was catchy. Armenia won the contest in 2010. Junior Eurovision 2018 will be held in Minsk. Armenia will be represented by a boy from Artsakh. Armenia's song is catchy. Will Armenia win the song contest? Well, um, I don't know. It's clearly upbeat as it's already stated. Levon is very confident on stage. And given that he's moving constantly, he does have pretty good vocal control. Like he's moving around on stage like all the time. And the part with the trumpet, you might not think of it as you might not and the part with the trumpet, you might not think of it as being much, but it's actually him pulling out the trumpet on stage and playing. So uh, this gets the comedic trumpet. This gets the comedic trumpet award. <laughs> so now let's move over to Italy, and this year they are sending Melissa and Marco. And I swear to God, the comment section like half of them can't get over the fact that they're sending a song called what is love baby and they just keep on going with that song but this this is a ballad and the music video is very adorable i will say that <laughs> but but it's but it feels a bit out of place with these two especially because they they're sort of put into adult clothing which I'm I'm not I'm not sure. But Lily San Marco, do you know what love is now? I don't know. It it has like a slow start, but but then it really builds in the second verse, and then it sort of goes back to a being a, but then it goes back to being a grander ballad. And I mean the ballad is solid, but that build-up is actually quite incredible. Which uh, you know what? For for the sake of uh, for and you know what? For the sake of weird awards, let's give this one the second best verse award. Wait. Let. And for the sake of crazy awards, let's give this one the best second verse award, because that build-up is just incredible and they deliver it on point and now just keep in mind what i'm doing here is presenting sort of my favorites like in the in the mo at the moment i'm in my at, at the moment i'm like in my bottom 10. Th this doesn't mean that it's not in gonna be in my top 10 when it comes to predictions because like there's two halves of me there's like the heart that is determining my favorites and then there's like my brain which is saying okay which one can actually win this thing and so Italy is doing worse in my favorites list than it is in my predictions list I can tell you that let's move on let's continue with Daniel who is representing Belarus with the song time and I will say right off the bat the song Time in Big Eurovision has not done so well historically. Take Israel 2012, take... Uh, was it was it also Belarus 2015? No. One of these years it was... But apparently if your name is TikTok then, then you get 6th place, Ukraine 2014. <laughs> And what I what what I will say about Daniel's song is I I don't think it has enough oomph for live performances. I don't. It doesn't. It doesn't have like a. The thing is, it doesn't quite capture me emotionally, and it also doesn't have like this. This drive in the song that'll. That'll sort of where you know it's gonna reach some peak at some point. I mean, it's kind of ready for radio, and and it is slow and relaxing. So, 
Which, by the way, can I just say, where's the beach bar? I totally want to um, be by the beach right now and uh, have a cocktail and just... Because that's where I see it really hitting, hitting the scoring the best <laughs> in beach bar playlists. There you go. I do enjoy it, but like I said, I, I don't think it has enough oomph. Next up is Azerbaijan with the song I Wanna Be Like You by Fidan Husseinova. And just get ready if you watch the music video. This is... This is... Adorableness overload. Like the the song is so simple and and the fact that this girl is singing like and the fact that this girl is singing about looking up to someone is is just something so typically child. I feel I feel like this. I feel like she could have literally this could have literally been like. Her fangirling about someone in in her own language and basically taking the main elements of of what she said and taking it into a song, and the fact that it's so calm and stripped down and it this song is so simple and yet oh this this, this gets the hot chocolate award because. It, I imagine this song just being in front of like a bonfire or something, it's it's really nice. And the music video is just really pretty too. I'm actually not sure where to place this. Like it, it has like the average score, but unfortunately because it's like a really strong year, it, it doesn't, it doesn't make it into my tops fully, but I do enjoy the song, a, like a lot, especially with the music video. Like most of these music videos have done a really good job of just being absolutely gorgeous. So uh, congratulations, filmmakers out there! You're doing a great job. All right, let's continue. So let's continue with Malta's song, or actually Ella's song, "Marching On." And I think we have found ourselves the one that will be played on the radio the most. Because this is this is a song that I'm I'm afraid again on its own doesn't have enough oomph. But I will say Ella's vocals are incredible. If she can pull off the things that she did in the studio live, then the others Well, they'll at least have to give her a whole bunch of respect because holy cow. So this this one gets the best vocal award. But but like here's my question for this song. If you've seen the music video, just like what will happen on stage? Will they put a car on stage and have them sort of slow-mo dance around that or what is gonna happen? Act Actually, that'd be a horrible idea. Don't put a car on stage, because for it to have the same feel as the music video, it'd have to sort of be flipped and no, that just don't. <laughs> but also, I feel, I feel like given that she's worked with this sort of production right now, I feel like she's the most likely to become an activist. So, to, uh... Hooray, we need these people in the world. And I feel like Malta often sends these songs where Hey let let's not do bad things, let's let's try and fix ourselves. I I feel like Malta has um taken that role a few times in big Euro Eurovision as well as junior Eurovision. Like as far as I remember in 2005 they took a similar role in the Junior Eurovision. Yeah, actually I do remember. What what do you do when children suffer in pain and hunger? That was actually one of the lyrics from the 2005. So they've taken on this role before and 
kudos to Ella's vocals. With, we'll see. I'm, I'm actually excited to see. Like I haven't seen any of the, sort of, practice runs yet. N nor will I before the final, because I, like, want to keep that as a surprise. So, I'm intrigued. Alright, Malta has some competition for best vocalist from Australia. Big Sister Gile is telling everyone, you can be anyone. You can be a champion. Which is just an incredible message. Like the fact that she seems one of like one of the older con contestants in the show is all is also just just so right for this song. Just like encouraging younger siblings, just like you can be a champion. And th this song has has that power to go far. And and also as I'm watching this music video, I I just got incredible. Jessica Mobile vibes. So uh, this one gets the we get. L so this one gets the we got love award because there was just something about this that that really. It's from Australia. It it's uplifting and heck yes. <laughs> I'm actually curious for those from Australia. Is this like the same production crew that worked on the music video for Jessica Mabai, or is this just a coincidence that I'm getting these vibes? Because it's incredible. Message check, good energy check, great vocalist check. And somehow we're still in not in the top ten yet. That that's a strong year. Holy cow. Alright, and now let's continue with Albania with a little misconfident. Th this song has some attitude. It and the music video blends like the like it's the music video itself is so girly it's it's incredible, but but then the song is incre incredibly modern, but also it has like this message of just like, don't judge me. <laughs> and it's, and it's, and if people can get behind, if, if the kids watching that can get that message that is just, that is just a great achievement by Albania. Like, my complaint with some of these songs, or at least one or two of them is, like, they don't feel like Junior Eurovision. This one definitely feels like Junior Eurovision. It's just good fun and... And maybe I should also mention what the song is called and who sings it, am I right? Well, you can see it on screen, but um, it's Effie and the song's called Barbie, just putting that out there. So I'm just gonna say this one gets the Don't Judge Me Award because <laughs> the blend of the music video with the music is is just nice and, and I like her attitude and I can feel that she's gonna be like a strong stage presence. And we're not in the top 10 yet or in my top 10 favorites yet. Like I said, my heart and my head have some sometimes have dilemmas with which ones to choose and this time they are very much all over the place <laughs> all right before we jump into my top 10 let's uh, take a stop by Georgia arguably the most successful country in junior year vision just overall I think as far as I know they've won three times which given the 15 or 16 years of history of junior Eurovision at this point is d just incredible <laughs> so what are they sending they're sending well who are they sending they're sending Tamar Ed 
They're sending Tamar Id They're sending Tamar Idilashvili. Yikes. <laughs> Why did that take so long? And the song is called Your Voice. And now listening to this song, this is I feel like I would put this as the had the opening song not already been decided. I would have I would have put Georgia first because it has such a strong drive and build up and one one of the people in the comments said just like knowing Georgia this girl will sing just as well live which uh, I I can see that and that will not make this final easier by any means these are some really strong entries also the music video I I totally like the style of just like being, of portraying her as like being this random random girl from your average place, and and it's it almost like sends the message of being average is great, which is an incredible message. But uh, for for me, this gets the best for opening an album award no but seriously this song has so much push it's can't wait to experience this all right let's jump into my top 10 my one point goes to portugal with rita's entry gusto de tudo and uh, if i had to describe this one song in one word it would be contagious i mean rock will stand out in this competition on its own but her her energy just comes through the screen just comes through the mus music video and unfortunately for portugal though they're gonna be in they're gonna be performing second out of the 20 entries and I feel like there's a curse when when you perform as second. I mean, prove me wrong, but like the second entries, at least in the final of the big Eurovision, historically haven't done too great. But I'm hoping with a with an entry like this that it can stand out and fight back. Also, given this contagious energy, I feel like she should get the I'm having fun and that's all that matters award. <laughs> Good luck, Rita. Two points go to Poland and they get the accidentally cool award because the thing about this song, Anyone I Want to Be by Roxana is just purely authentic. It it's more electronic than all the others, but it has like a mellow sort of... It has a mellow beat, but still manages to have sort of some... At least some aggressive sounds in there. It, man it manages to draw like a fine line between aggressive and like soft. And I, th and I think it's just the authenticness of this song that will get it to score high, like... I feel like this could have come... I feel like... I feel like Roxana could have actually written this song. And I think this authenticness makes it just a really strong entry. Like it... It's at my number 9 in terms of favorites, but like... It does rank higher. In terms of predictions. Like many people are talking about this being like a potential winner even. And uh, I don't blame them. And of course her name is Roxana. Cause she rocks. <laughs> Alright, let's move on. Three points go to the Netherlands. And I might be a little bit biased here cause I understand Dutch. but. Or at least a little bit. But this song is sung by Max and Anne to actual friends and 
they are singing together. Their song is called Salmon, which means together. <laughs> the, their friendship comes through the screen when, because it's the version that is up on the, as like the official music video is like a combination of their music video and their live performance. And it basically, it shows you sort of the live chemistry they they have and also sort of like the studio version, at least for parts of it, I think. This song was the first uh, duet that I heard and it was, and it just kind of took me off guard. Like when they entered the chorus, I was just like, all right, best harmonies award, which they still have. The one thing that I will, the one thing that I find a bit unfortunate about the song is like the bridge where it like is supposed to build the most like this, like I, I call it sort of the special part of the song, like the bridge between the last two choruses. I feel like that kind of at least a little bit in, in the final life performance fell apart a little bit. But mm, it's still a it's still a great song and and I can't wait to see it performed live in Minsk. So if you've been following the Junior Eurovision for any amount of time this year, you will instantly recognize who this person in the picture is. I don't even need to play you the music and you'll already know what song this is. It's Say Love by Darina, of course. But before I talk about this, I want to read you a comment that I wrote underneath the music video. I wrote, this one gets the, I am definitely from a country with a red and white flag, what are you talking about, award. <laughs> also, cue music. Also, she gets the earworm award. I can't get this song out of my head. Well done, Poland. Except for the part that it's actually Ukraine, that I, I played myself, <laughs> and with all the, with all the, with all the love that uh, this song got from Poland, I, I, <laughs> it was a, it additionally messed me up when I when I wrote that comment, so I edited in. I'm so sorry, Ukraine. I messed myself up. <laughs> Which, just the fact that an image can trigger the song in your head just speaks volumes to how how recognizable this tune is and how much it... Like, in, in the replays, this song is instantly recognizable because of what they did with the music video. It's actually incredible. So, uh... Ukraine, you might not be my personal favorite, but but dang it, you you are one of the highest contenders that I've seen so far. Good luck. My five points go to the country that would have gotten the most beautiful flag award had their song not been just incredible, and they, you know, this this uh, country really pulled in Australia, by which I mean they made an amazing debut. Kazakhstan, of course. Danelia with Ozine Sen. I, these, these native, these, uh, these native titles are gonna kill me one day. <laughs> but, but this song gets the Goosebumps All, all Over award, because there is something to be said about packaging a song with a voice. That that's one thing. Like this girl has a voice which is just incredible. And then there's a power behind the song which will really get the audience in w Minsk wild, I think. But then also to have it with with such a music video where basically it's it's in open nature and it 
just some incredible stuff. And I think this song also like stands out because the time signature is different. Like like every every other song has like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. But this one goes one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, dun, 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 dun. and it it stands out. I and just um welcome to the competition, Kazakhstan, and also other countries beware. <laughs> Let's continue to my six points. And they go to a country that really wants to let us know that they are, in fact, unbreakable. Because after being banned in the big Eurovision 2017, they won the junior Eurovision directly afterwards. And then they sent the message, I won't break in the big Eurovision. And now in the small Eurovision, they are sending Anna Filipchuk with the song Unbreakable. <laughs> But this is, this one, this one gets the, this is, this is like a really good junior year vision entry because it's like, it's sort of simple and it has like the message of nothing can stop us if you can, if you set your mind to it and it's, I I really like the symbolism with the broken star in the music video like bas basically if you can take all it's basically the message of it's it's because of the flaws that individual people have that that you connect and get stronger because of them and to have that symbolically basically shown is incredible. I gave it the best music video award because it, it's also like if you if you treat the if you treat the flaws of others with kindness then you just win. The, the song itself is like really simple and sweet and it's and also you may have noticed in the picture that I'm using, there's a panda, so, um... <laughs> Pandas make everything better award goes to Russia, yep, d d I said it. Six points. And before you think you know exactly who's gonna be my number one favorite, ho ho, no you don't, because my seven points go to France. Because the song is catchy and contagious and the energy from the music video and just everything is there's so much contagiousness around this song around her just and this song is smooth it's smooth sailing and it's it's an incredible joy to listen to this this one simply gets the Nothing beats friendship award because this this is a song that everyone can relate to. Like, if if someone if you have a friend, there you go. That's basically your anthem. And the song itself is just I don't know, sim simple and sweet. Strong entry from France. Good job. My eight points go to the most artistic song in this competition. At least that's what I think. It is a Balkan ballad by the fire of Macedonia. The song is called Doma and it's sung by Maria. And the song got me to cry. But seriously, there, there is just something so, there is just something so incredibly deep about this song. Like, in the music video, P 
people can look at the camera in the music video and it'll feel like it's yeah yeah they're looking at the camera all right but but I feel like she actually found the part in the camera that stares straight into your soul and oh my god <laughs> the I <laughs> But also on a on a more strange note, I <laughs> I sung the translated lyrics in English y yesterday. Like I found the translated comic comment. Like I found the translated uh, lyrics in the comments, and I sort of sang them with the song. And what do you know? They're they're about sort of rain not falling. She wants it to snow. I I swear the. <laughs> when I went out, when I looked out the window, the snow had actually fallen. <laughs> Which, uh, yay? Just, just this. This is just a solid video with a solid song and a s solid voice and. And uh, Maria gets the Got Me To Cry award, because my god, I did not see that coming in. And also it's a message about the feeling of being at home. And it's like, oh. Cha rob na noch. That is the hint you're getting. Because my ten points go to Svet, the ballad by Bojana from Serbia. And this song, it just heals my soul. The, it is a beautiful ballad keeping the Balkan style and I don't, I don't really have words for it, it just heals my soul, it gets the sunshine award for just being... I don't know, it, it seems like I'm a... I don't know, it seems like I love ballads this time around. Maybe it's because like it's the cold season or whatever, but I'm really enjoying this entry. So I think that it's gonna score high on on the actual in the actual competition. Maybe not quite, but it's it'll be a beautiful entry nonetheless, I can already feel it. Just before I reveal who gets my favorite twelve Just before I reveal who get my points my 12 points of being the favorite. I want to tell you guys who actually I think will end up winning. There's a lot of good entries, but in the end it got tied between Kazakhstan and uh, the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. And I think Macedonia, for me at least, gets the sl the slightly better edge because, well, it did make me cry and if music can trigger such emotions, that's when you know it's powerful. But now, have you been keeping track of who's already been picked? Because I'm about to reveal my number one entry. So now, the My Favorite Song Award, my 12 points, go to Wales. Man Robin and the song Berta. Just the, the deep notes in in like some of the parts of this song you need to get to those first. And all and also that that voice is just ah ha ha it's it's beautiful. It's like and this is one of the rare instances where 
going from sort of a little bit upbeat to like calm really works. Like this song is just beautifully written and beautifully performed. And so, uh, yeah, in my heart, Wales wins. Hooray! So now, of course, this was a long rundown of all my thoughts on all the songs. But now I want to hear from you. What are, what are your favorites? Who are you? Are you voting? Who are you voting for? Like, let me know in the comments below. Am I, am I stupid for saying something that you disagree with? Let me, let me know. Bring it. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. And good night. Uh, or have a nice day and enjoy the show. Because... There's no night in between now and the show, so, uh, bye.